I'm out standing in a field in Oxford called Port Meadow, a piece of common land where farmers have grazed their animals since the Middle Ages. Each farmer can keep as many animals as they like on the commons, but if there are too many animals, it'll become overgrazed. Let's imagine that our commons here can hold up to 12 cows before it starts getting overgrazed. So each of the three farmers puts four cows on the commons and gets five pounds per cow. At some point, one of the farmers decides to selfishly add another cow and gets a whole five extra pounds. But now the commons has one too many cows on it and it's getting overgrazed, so there's less grass to go around and the cows get skinnier. Overall, the productivity of the field goes down by, say, six pounds. But here's the catch. All three of the farmers have to pay that six pounds equally, so they each lose two pounds. The red farmer thinks, hey, this is great, and adds yet another cow and earning yet another five pounds. But the field loses six pounds in productivity. Then the blue and the yellow farmers realize that it's in their selfish interest to add more cows. And so they each add another two cows to the field. Now everyone has two more cows than they started off with, but they're also two pounds worse off. We end up with a situation like Port Meadow, where there are 1,365 horses, 1,890 cattle, and 1,192 geese, all registered to graze on one small field. This is the tragedy of the commons. This is a pile of shit and on it are yellow dung flies. Even at this scale, there's still tragedy. The males are all desperate to mate, that sometimes they'll all jump on top of the female and in their sexual frenzy, end up drowning her in the dung. Their desperate, selfish attempts to mate end up ruining the chances of everyone. It's similar in fruit flies. Again, the males fight over the females and can harm her that way. But what's weirder is that the males have a toxic chemical in their ejaculate that selfishly exploits the female meaning that she lays more eggs for him, so he benefits, but she lays fewer eggs overall, and she dies faster. And so the males are tragically and inevitably destined to harm the female in what we call sexual conflict. Is this tragedy inevitable? Well, in Port Meadow, the farmers talk to each other because they realise that it's in their long-term interest to cooperate. But evolution doesn't really do long-term. So maybe one solution is relatedness. If males are brothers, so they're genetically related, then the genes that they have in common could, in essence, talk to each other and realise that it's in the genes' interest to cooperate. Does this actually happen in fruit flies? The jury's still out. Now, if only there was someone around here who'd do more research on it. 58,807, 58,808, 58... As today, chocolates represent the investment or resources needed to produce children or offspring. And so I give her an exchange rate of 0.5. Helping her is like helping me, but only half as much. 